Okay. So created a new route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic default settings. This is how I started. Terrain tools. Move the terrain around. Blah blah blah. Uh, we could do. Um, rivers and then put water in there you paint it oh it's a nice manicured lawn oh look at that that's cool let's do mud like a thousand textures so then we do that make some mud blah 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 and then you change it up a bit so that it's not as obviously painted. Rotate the direction a little bit. <coughs> and then let's uh, add, uh, uh, let's see, let's go with pine tree. Oh, that's a log. That's kind of cool. Pine tree. Oh, you know what? search function pine tree all right uh, some of this stuff are is like real basic 2d stuff for like far off in the background not something that you'd see driving by um, at close proximity uh, I can get some better There we go. And they're all showing up at the uh, What the hell happened? Some of the objects are kind of basic. Move objects around. Uh, let's go back and paint a little bit more. Get that texture there. And paint that. Rotate it a little bit, make a undo that. There. there. That's what I was looking for.
go. Create a spline. It's at a road. These kind, of, these things are kind of cool. You um can uh, adjust adjust their curvature and stuff. And then let's say we'll add an intersection. get gradient bam and then we're going to apply that gradient oh no I did it wrong get gradient is a lie. Okay, vertex height, that's what I wanted. Okay. Then we apply vertex height. And then it'll even out. Bam. Alright, now. So let's just go with, uh, see what that looks like. No. Oh, that's old school. Alright, now it looks kind of funky, so what we gotta do 
Let's adjust the height a little bit. So it's not so off. What we'll do is we'll bring the spline height. We'll bring the terrain height down to where the spline is there and there. Do the same thing there. It's still off a little bit. Let's use the height tool and bring that up a little bit to about there. Bring that up. And then we'll adjust the gradients again. And do that. Alright. And then that should be pretty close to even with the terrain. It doesn't quite match, but you get the idea. And then uh, we add another track. Here. Don't like this track as much. It doesn't bend in as many places. And then yeah, well, anyway, you add your trains, you uh, yeah, add all the little details, and then over time you just build a world that it, it looks pretty cool. So if we exit, I'll show you the one I built. All right, so this is what I got here. This is what I built so far my little train yard, got a little turntable there, a little highway up there, some random scenery that I just put over here, I was going to put an Arby's there but it wasn't working, got some houses here, some cars, a little intersection, trains come up, arms go down, uh, got some cowboys, some cows there, got a coal mine over here, Bridge or a tunnel. There. And um, some bridges over here. I do have a jack in the box. I had to have the jack in the box. That worked. And then um, some random warehouse I put there. Some junctions. Random truck with some oil drums there on the side of the track. Got me my uh, McDonald's. There's your car there. It's a little off, but um, uh, gold arches. Uh, what else we got? Um, a coal power plant, but it has nuclear cooling stacks. I I don't quite get that. Um, yeah, that's about it. A little farmhouse here, and uh, that's about. These are the intersections. They're basic. All the objects are individually placeable. So you know, it took me a couple days to do this, but it looks like a little train set. I'm gonna expand over into this area back here. Put like a a mountain range up in that area, and have the tracks following all the way up to. I had a couple more tiles over here and maybe make like a passenger station and a military base. I've got like uh, some uh, fighters that I can add here. Put them on like a runway. I've got an F-18 too. These two I downloaded from the little download station they've got for Freezy. Yeah, but that's that's the long and short of it. I'll make another one with actually operating the train so you can see. But that's like the world builder. That's what I was talking about.